Hi, and welcome to this demonstration of Polygonica's mesh healing capabilities. A couple of important things to note up front. This is a live demonstration. I'm running these models live on my four-year-old Dell laptop. And secondly, Polygonica is provided as a software library, not an end user product. The GUI I'm using for this demonstration, PG Fixer, is just one of our internal demonstration programs and it's not available for sale. So on with the demonstration. Firstly, you can see here a typical mechanical CAD part that we've loaded in from an SDL file. Everything looks fine on the screen, but if you look down to the bottom right, you can see that Polygonica has flagged up some errors. The solid isn't watertight. It has self intersections and in particular, it has 63 shells. So shells is our term for a disconnected region of mesh. It's pretty clear this solid is intended to be a single part, but because of mesh errors, it isn't. It's also worth noting this model is 105,044 polygons, um, which represents about five megabytes as a binary STL file. So first of all, if I click on the highlight errors button, Polygonica will display the errors for us. Um, now we can see there's lots here, uh, which seems surprising until you consider uh, most mechanical CAD systems are really only tessellating the CAD surface geometry for the purposes of graphics. Um, you know, they want, they want a format um, that's suitable for GPU acceleration on NVIDIA AMD cards, etc. And that's triangles. So that's the primary reason why CAD systems in the past have created triangle geometry from CAD surfaces. They're not really interested in creating good quality geometry. As long as they look acceptable to the user on the screen, then that's fine. And of course, you know, different systems do um, a better or worse job at this. Anyway, let's fix this part. Um, so I've clicked on the closed solid button, closed solid button, which calls a uh, API function inside Polygonica that just called PS solid close. And here we'll see it takes a few seconds to close it. So if we now look at the bottom right, we can see the part is watertight, but still self intersecting. So we've got green for close. Um, the triangle count has actually gone up, but the number of shells has gone down. So it was 63 shells. It's now dropped to nine. So Polygonica in, in making it watertight has managed to throw away a lot or reconnect a lot of the disconnected meshes. But to do that, it's had to introduce triangles. And we've still got this, um, I have to say, slightly weird self-intersecting geometry um, that the CAD system has created and we need to get rid of if we want to slice this. So I'll click the Remove Self-Intersections button and here we go. In a few seconds, that's removed all the self-intersections. And if we down, look down at the bottom right now, we've got a similar number of triangles. The, it's there are no self intersections and we're down to one shell so everything's green and just to reinforce that I'll just take a section through here so in this case this is a geometric section um, not an open gel clip plane so we're actually slicing through the geometry and creating a closed polygon that we're displaying on the screen um, rather than just letting open gel do the work and that's just a, a simple quick way of showing um, that it's easy to slice this model without any problems. So now I'm going to show a more complex model that was given to us by the University of Sheffield. The model is an output from a structural optimization process um, and they were trying to print it and they tried all the well-known print preparation software that was available at that time um, but they couldn't manage to print it without first investing hours in manual editing to, to make the model watertight. Um, eventually, they found some software in which Polygonica had been embedded, and they found that that software was able to automatically heal the model in a, a few seconds. So again, if we look at the, the bottom right, we can see in this case, the model is closed, but it has self intersections. And there are 26,000, over 26,000 separate shells or separate uh, portions of mesh which suggests it's in a pretty bad state. Overall, it's 2 million um, triangles, uh, which is actually a 100 megabyte uh, binary STL file on disk. So if I uh, display the errors, we can see yeah, yeah, pretty much the whole model has problems. 
Uh, and in fact, what you have here is, is a, a sort of double skin um, with lots of internal overlapping triangles that need to be removed in order to print this. OK, so again, we'll click Remove Self-Intersections. And um, while Polygonic is doing that, um, I'll just explain that one of the advantages of Polygonic's healing process is that it uses the same 3D Boolean engine um, that was developed for the widely used MachineWorks CNC simulation component. So as well as being blindingly fast, that engine has a self-union operation. So it can union a part with itself. Um, and that operation causes self-intersections to become detached from the, the main body of separate shells. And then it's very easy to remove them and throw them away. So that's one of the reasons why Polygonica's self-intersecting self-intersection fixing is is so fast and so robust and can handle um, such a wide number of complex cases. So here's the final result. Um, you can see we're now down. If you look at the bottom right again, we're now down to one shell, and actually those two million triangles have dropped to around six hundred thousand triangles. So roughly one point four million triangles have have gone. Um, simply because they, they didn't want to be there in the first place. Um, and again, I'll uh, do a section through this. And again, this is not a GPU open gel clip plane. We're actually calculating the geometry. I can go up and I mean, this is in effect the same as slicing down through the model. I'm just doing that dynamically here in real time. And there you go. Thanks for listening. If you've got any questions, you can contact us uh, via the forms on www.polygonica.com.